All right, Frenzy Giant, one hit on you. And then I'm dipping. Oh, that was not good. They did a lot of damage. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, there was a huge update coming out, adding in a ton of things that I am so excited to do. I got ourselves a couple of weapons, and I'm ready for what's gonna be happening here. All right, Bunker Alpha has the second floor. We've come prepared. I'm bringing an AK, a shotgun, a big swinger. We got tons of meds. We got the key card and we got some friggity fresh armor. We are ready to riggity wreck this bunker. But while we go ahead and make our journey over there to level two, I did want to talk about some other up or some of the other things that came in. So iPhone five users are not going to be able to go into the bunker. They've optimized it for that. So that's awesome news. Hello, Bunker Alpha. Can't wait to see you soon. Uh, what else? They've added in modifications where you can actually find some weapons with stuff like silencers, laser sights, extended mags, which to me, I don't know, that sounds absolutely dope. Uh, you should be able to craft the gunsmith bench now. I, I don't know if you could do it before. Either they made it craftable or they made it easier to craft. They added in a new weapon called the zip gun, which we might try to go ahead and make after this. But the main thing that I want to do is explore level two. I got my bunker alpha code written down from before. We are heading back into here and actually, no, never mind. It looks pretty open, so this should be a little bit nicer, but we do have to put in a new code. So the code for me was 55208. If you guys don't remember, the way that you get this code is by having the stupid radio back at home. Every day it broadcasts you a new signal. We're gonna head on in and floor two should be possible, but I think that we have to beat floor one again first. So we're gonna try to do this, and we're gonna try to do this in the best way possible, because we've beaten it before, we kinda know the best way to do it, so we're gonna be trying this and hoping for the best, and then making our way into level two. So here we are, yep, we gotta redo everything, which kinda sucks, but eh, I mean, let's be honest, we'll survive, we also have a shotgun, Shotguns are awesome. They I think will survive. Uh, there are gonna be a ton of enemies coming over here though I remember that from last time Here we got the hall of freaking doom. Whatever the hell this place is. I'm not too <laughs> Oh, man, this place always creeps me out, but there's gonna be a ton of Roman zombies on the other side of this Hello. All right, uh, so we can pro these guys are all pretty slow. I think we should be able to deal with them The swingy way. Yeah, we should be able to take these guys out one by one Although I wish I had an e a better weapon to do this with I feel bad using something as powerful as this But hey, it one hits them really easy to take them out and voila last time I used my gun on these guys because I was I was feeling overwhelmed and I feel like there might have been stronger ones before who knows last time we played this uh, it actually went a lot quicker, or there were like a whole different amount of zombies and stuff, but let's start sneaking around a little bit, and I think there should be a toxic spitter. Let's take this dude out. See you later, toxic spitter. And there's gonna be, I think that's a toxic abomination wandering his way over here. Yeah, I think so. So hold on. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around, then we're gonna try to deal with him my way. We do have a shotgun as well, which should make things a little bit easier if we do have to start running, because a shotgun can do some massive and real damage, but yeah, it's this big fella, the floater bloater, but a sneak attack with this is gonna do so much damage, I don't even care, I think we'll be just fine, so hello, floater bloater, goodbye, floater bloater, ah, uh, he's gonna get a little bit of damage in on me, but whatever, oh, we got a level up too, look at that, everyone's favorites, we're not gonna be going into any side rooms, I'm not really too interested in that, uh, looks like there are, ooh, a frenzy giant, those are always fun to deal with, and a toxic abomination right there, looking at me. Well, I think the shotgun might be the course of action here, because these guys are about to run like hell after me. Uh, well, shotgun rain! Uh, let's run! No, don't recrouch! Run! Run! Alright, there we go. Let's start trying to take these guys out. Oh, shotgun rain! Oh, shotgun rain! Oh, shotgun rain! Oh, hallelujah for this shotgun! Bless up! You're not gonna get any damage in on me! Although the shotgun is really slow to use. Okay, whatever. Now this guy's coming. The toxic abomination. I think I could take in a little bit of damage. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, never mind. Screw that. Don't want to take that damage. Let's just take him out the uh, proper way here. Okay, that was a mistake. Luckily, we can heal mistakes and we have a shotgun, which makes things so easy to deal with. We got the emergency AK-2. I'm just going to use food while we can. I also have band-aids. I should probably equip those somewhere, but whatever. We're going to try to open the minimum amount of doors. I want to get through level one as quickly and easily as possible. And pretty much every side door ever makes that harder than it should be. Who is that? A frenzy giant? Yeah, hmm. 
Shotgun might be the best way of dealing with that guy too. Although we're not getting any weapons, which sucks. Will he, will he detect me here? No? Okay, good. Because we should be able, as long as he doesn't see me, to get in a nice little hit here. Which is going to be some nice bonus da- Oh, no. What the hell? Ugh! Bonus damage! Awesome! Okay, and now he's going to be coming after us. He'll eat a ton of shotgun. And life will be easy. Yet again. I think we just finish him off with this. Ugh! Nope! Wow, that was risky. Alright, not going to risk that next time. No way, Jose. We still got the food, though. Let's keep on getting through this. This is where the gun comes in, I think. But we should be able to get the perfect amount of distance away to take out this turret without a worry. It's it takes... You gotta get, like, exactly the perfect place. I've done it before. But what happens? Yeah, look at that. We should be able to take this turret out nice, easy. Nice and breezy. And as soon as he goes down, we will continue. I'd say we're about halfway done. Although, so is our shotgun. But, ooh! Turret's dropping something. All right, some nuts and bolts. Don't really care about that too much, turret, but thank you. I'm more excited about this level two that we're going to have to go through. Oh, and it looks like there's someone feisty at the end of this hallway. Not the big one. That's a little too feisty. Uh, why don't I equip some melee? Unless this guy's about to, like, totally poop. Ah, it's a frenzy giant. Mmm. Mmm. I hate dealing with these things. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we might have to do it the shotgun way. All right. Because I don't think he's turning around. No? You're not too interested in that, Mr. Frenzy Giant? That's okay. Let's give you some shotgun rain. There you go. Dude, I love that. 70 damage each. I think I have a couple more shotguns back at home, too. I have been on the grind, baby. So this should be... We should be able to get through this and show off that level 2, which is what I'm excited about. Is that a new turret? Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, I don't have enough AK ammo for this. I might need to come back shortly. Because that turret... Could probably poop on me. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Well, we gotta find another AK somewhere. Because this one is not gonna be able to do enough. Oh no. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't wanna die to that. Alright, baby. We are back to right about where we left off. I went home. I got a couple more guns. And actually, should anything be possible, I do have a couple here in my inbox. The devs were nice enough to send me a couple things. So if I was a higher level, I'd probably have even more of these stockpiled. But I do have a couple, which is nice and handy and does make making videos a little bit easier. But I hope you guys are having a fan freaking fantastic day. Hopefully the opposite day of what this turd is about to have. Please tell me I got enough M16 to take this thing out. I think I should. Okay, no. Woo! 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 Okay, okay. That was almost bad because my dude just started YOLO running at that thing. Uh, does the pistol have enough range to take him out? I- maybe? Okay. Turret down. Took him out in peace. Now, will we be able to go through the door and stuff to continue on with this? What did we get out of there? Couple of things. As you can see, we do have some guns here. I'm gonna switch to something better in case we start getting chased. Don't want that to happen. We should be able to run through this relatively well. I don't know if we can get through this without... Oh no, yeah, they're angry, they're angry. Oh! Oh! Oh, not, the, not that guy. Not that guy. Not the toxic abomination. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Gotta take these people out. Stay away from me, toxic abomination! I don't want what you're selling! Okay. We should be able to take them out with our shotgun now. Kite them down the hallway. We got enough guns to take care of this. Ugh! Down with him. Up with our level again. That's what I love about going to the bunker. Makes our level just skyrocket up. But I hope you guys are having absolutely a fan-freaking-tastic day. We're going to be clearing out this bunker. And I'm just excited to see what's down here in level 2. We do have to get through level 1 again. But I don't think that's too big of a deal. And it looks like there's going to be someone on the end of this hallway. Which means he's probably going to be a bigger fella. So as soon as he turns around. Ooh, we're going to get some good sneak attack damage in on him. And then, other than that, we can finish out our shotgun. Finish out a couple other things. Ooh, it's a frenzy giant. A lot of these fellas down here. Oh god, he, he found- oh, damn it. Well, that sucks for our shotgun. Uh, ow, he does so much damage, I can never get over that. Oh god, let's not run that way. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ugh! Ugh! We made a boo-boo. We made a boo-boo. Okay, we're gonna have to try to get as much running in as possible, because I gotta apply some band-aids and I gotta get some better guns. Alright, so I got our pistol on. Hopefully this will do some damage to help clear him out. Yeah, this should be plenty okay. We got a second pistol too, and the pistol doesn't lose too much durability when we're chase or when someone's chasing down. Oh no, don't shoot the bloaters through the wall. Shoot the stupid giant. Down with him. Sweet mama. Yeah, that's what I hate. Those giants. I think there are some that can one hit you. But we have some pretty good armor on, which is Probably saving us from those one hits. Yeah, and I also brought like a machete too if we get in hand-to-hand -hand combat because I feel like 
I like using this for sneak attacks because it does like a total of 165 damage. Uh, but the machete is a lot faster to use. Oh, I should brought the katana. Why did I bring the machete? I don't know. But we are almost done. I think we just have one more area that we have to try and get through. And this area, as always, is going to be a fun little challenge. It might be a good time for us to try and cop another gun for this. I'm not using the VSS Ventores. I'm saving that for something cooler. But I think a shotgun and maybe a Glock is more than reasonable. Yeah, I think that should be good. All right. Shotgun. Get up in there. You, you're the backup. Let's hope that I do not die, because that would suck. Hello, Frenzy Giant. Oh, mama. Okay, well, eat shotgun rain, lads. Okay, let's run the hell away from these guys. Oh, we got fast biters. That's not going to be fun. We'll deal with those. We'll deal with them shortly after. Oh. Make it rain on them. Make it rain, shotgun. Ugh. We got to keep running. We got to keep running. I don't care if the fast biters do a little bit of damage. That's not as bad. Okay, perfect. A hallway where you can get some distance between us. Let's clear out these fast biters with our pistol. A little bit more shotgun. Then we can finish them off with the pistol nice and easy. Shot or pistol. Shotgun. Toxic abomination. Ah, uh, rekite. Rekite. Perfect. We should be able to clear out these toxic abominations. Oh, what the hell, Frenzy Giant? Of course he ambushed me. All right, bless up our bodies still here. We're 100% less dead than we were before. That's always good. Uh, we got to throw this backpack on to try to save some inventory room. And there we go. Let's take everything that we can. Continue putting on our clothes. And see, that's, the, that's my dilemma. That's why I'm always iffy. Should I have, like, bandages in that last slot or what? Because I like being able to switch between two guns, but at the same time, like, healing in that situation while on the run... That would have been so clutch, but I don't know. That's always like a, ah, it's a hard decision for me to make. I understand both sides of it, but I, I, I don't know. But we should be able to clear this out pretty well. There's only like a couple of them left and we did some pretty solid damage on them, but I don't want to be using up too many of our guns. I'm trying to save them up for that last floor, but we should also be able to get a little bit of loot, which might come in handy. Oh God, they're already coming. Jesus, I'm barely even in range. Why are you people so, ah, just stay away from me. Ah! All right, well, the shotgun seems to be treating these guys pretty well. Nice little shotgun rain vacation. Very nice, but the frenzy giant is not going to be very nice. I'm going to try to... I, that's what I hate about these slow sections in the hallways. They make things a lot sketchier to do because the zombies are not slower. Oh, my God. What the... Oh, my stupid controls just went totally off the grid. All right, we got to heal up a little bit. I'd rather use the carrot stew. I want to save those bandages. For like in combat stuff and I'm gonna save this last shotgun slug for later and just try to switch over to the pistol that's about to perish anyway so see you later frenzy giant down with oppression or whatever the hell zombies support brain eating yeah down with the brain eating now I think that should be either the last or second to last zombie horde on this floor by the looks of it we got a toxic abomination here as long as he doesn't notice us the sneak attack we're gonna get on him is gonna be lethal Come on, turn your back. All right, good. Trust me, Toxic Abomination. Oh, you got every reason to. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, all right, we're just going to take this guy out in melee. He barely does any damage to us, and we do a lot of damage. Awesome. Let's heal up what we lost with the carrot stew. I should have brought a little bit more when I went home, but eh. Questionable decisions are questionable decisions. There's the Frenzy Giant. We're going to have to run like hell from this guy, and then we'll try to take him out with the pistol. Hello, Frenzy Giant. Well, remember when I said we have to run like hell? <laughs> okay, never mind. Hell's a little bit slower than I remember it being. <laughs> Frenzy Giant, you are a joke, my dude. What I'm excited for is checking out whatever the hell's about to be in here. We do have to go through and trip that. Whatever, like, no zombies are going to notice. But we're going to notice these guns. And we're going to collect them and maybe get some medical supplies. I'd love some med- Ooh. I'll take an M16 and a- What was that? First aid? If we're close to dying, that'll come in handy. But that M16 is going to be perfect. Especially... For taking out, I'm gonna use the AK first, cause like the AK and M16, I think the AK is just a little bit stronger. But this is gonna clear out some inventory room for us for later, cause what I wanna do is take out. Oh no, they moved the turret. Really? They moved the turret. Oh, maybe that was an update, cause yeah, this was way easier. I guess we had to face the turret earlier. I totally forgot we need these things. Oh my god. Oh look at that. There's another loot box here. Okay. Let's see what this has, but I think we have to fix the generator somehow. And once that thing gets fixed, we're good to go. What does that have? Some claw hammer and whatnot? Okay, generator. How do I fix you? With stuff. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to need eight of whatever this is. Rubber parts. And 15 duct tape. So definitely more than I was expecting to need. But 
I guess we gotta go and grab those really quickly, and I guess while we're at it, we could grab the stuff to hop into that loot room too, but we will return, still. Now that is good to know that we do have to fix the generator at the end of level one to get into level two, but after that, level two, it's clear sailing. All right, guys, and after a ginormous grind in getting some of the stuff that was in here, I went ahead and opened this up if I could make my way into there, which is for some reason being the most difficult thing in the world. But uh, yeah, I've been grinding for like the past two hours trying to get those rubber parts. We got some of this. I'm going to leave this here. I'll pick it up another time. I'll leave my inventory empty for what's going to be on floor two. I'm excited to see this. But yeah, it's been a giant pain in the booty because rubber parts are one of like the hardest things to find and finding eight of them because I don't have any at home because I put all of them into like the uh into the something whatever it's called oh we are ready to go down because I put all of them into uh I put all of them into the vehicle that we started crafting that one needed a couple so that kind of made things take way longer than it should have so rubber parts are no fun but hopefully level two here will be very fun and hopefully we don't get killed as soon as we enter because I'm excited to see what may hold within these walls, these underground walls, and this loading screen. It's taking 50 minutes. Come on, loading screen. All right, we're in, and I'm not entirely sure which way is gonna be the best way to do this, so I am feeling sketched out to say the least, but I'm just gonna try to go the way where there's gonna be a toxic spitter on the other side of this. Never mind, we can't even go that way. Uh, another hallway of hands? No, but a very long and sketchy hallway. Are we about to die in this hallway? I got band-aids ready to go, but that's about it. Oh, we can already start seeing some of the zombies. We got some toxic spitters. Man, this ought to be a joy. Hello, fast biters. I'll take you guys out slowly but surely. Uh, oh, no, not one of those big fellas. All right, let's try to get one hit on him, a pop. Then we'll start focusing on the toxic abomination. You know what? I got, I got, I'll, I'll 1v1 the toxic abomination. I do like 55 damage each. I'd rather save the ranged weapons for like the giant abominations because those guys are actually a threat to kill us, and like I said, we got a good amount of band-aids here, so this is starting out good. Worst case, too, I do have first aid kits. We can equip those later on when need be, but for now, let's continue and let's see where the hell our adventures are gonna take us now. By the looks of it, we already got a little bit of loot, so that's nice. Now, is this a trap or is this for reals? This is for reals. Well, it's a vending machine. Can I not? I'm clicking on it. Nothing's happening. I can't get anything out of the vending machine. Well, Maybe there isn't enough power here? Maybe we gotta turn on the terminal first, but by the looks of it, we're gonna have a couple of the big fellas there. That's not gonna be too much fun to deal with. That might be a job for... Well... I don't think the Frenzy Gi How fast is the Frenzy Giant? I don't know. Just to be safe, I'll put out the shotgun, because I think Frenzy Giants... Do we have some... Oh, no. Aren't they the super slow ones? Let's just hope that they are. If we die, worst case, we'll run back here. We got the stamina for it, so... Time to close things off, and let's try sneaking. I might be able to take out this toxic spitter, actually. Just one hit him so he's not over here, like, trying to spit on us and stuff. Yeah, you know what? YOLO, but might be worth it. All right, time to run like hell. Perfect. The toxic abomination is going to be way faster. We should be able to 1v1 this dude over here in a little bit of a far-off hallway. And then we can focus on the frenzy giant with some ranged weapons, because I'm not about to 1v1 that dude with melee. That's a death wish. Okay, down with him. Now... We need guns. Uh, let's equip the pistol. This thing will be good. Hello! Eat pistol! Oh yeah, the Frenzy Giant loves himself some vitamin B. B standing for bullet, of course. Frenzy Giant, come on. Yeah, my game's been like a little bit skippy sometimes too. I don't know why. Maybe I gotta restart my phone or something, but it's been iffy still. Down with the Frenzy Giant! Up with us and on to the next room. I wonder how big of a looting area this is gonna be. Who knows, I did know that there was a turret somewhere over there, which is kind of sketching me out, because turrets like shooting people and shooting people- Oh, Jesus! No way he saw me. Really, turret? You're telling me you saw me. Can I get a sneak attack on this thing? Well, it's trying to shoot me, so I don't think so. And I think we gotta take him out before we can move on. Hmm. Yeah, this turret is very, uh, he knows what's up. Although we're doing okay this- Oh, no, 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 no! Damn it! Hmm, I don't know, we'll have to figure that out, because that turret is a total douche nozzle. There's a ton of toxic spitters in here, I think a couple of, uh... Well, I don't want to lure all of them in, but that's totally what's gonna happen. Alright, toxic spitter! One at a time, lads! Stay away, abomination! Okay, I think we might have to deal with the abomination first. Nah, let's keep on running. Keep on running, keep on running. 
Take out the toxic spitters. I got the band-aids. Okay. So down with one of them. Take out the other toxic spitter. And now it's for the abomination. I'll just 1v1 this dude. I'll try to use a med kit at the end of it. Although our weapon is about to break, which kind of sucks. Weapon, please do not break on me right now. Thank you for not breaking. Oh, I thought it was about to break at like the worst time. All right, we can use one of these though. Perfect. I think we might be able to even... Oh, where did you come from? All right, we got a frenzy giant to deal with. That's always fun. Hello, frenzied. I was going to say we could try shotgunning the turret. Just kind of... I think that might be the best plan of action. I do have like another shotgun over my inbox too, so it might buff out like perfectly, but okay. He's dead, blew his face straight off. I think shotgunning the turret's gonna be the best way of moving forward, so let's try and do that. Can I, can I loot this? Oh, now I can loot it? What the hell? Wasn't letting me loot the vending machine before? You guys saw that, right? Well, maybe you didn't see me clicking, but still. We're probably a little bit hungry and stuff. I'll eat up a couple of those, maybe come back for those later. Uh, there's a floater bloater in there. Now, priority number one is shotgunning this thing. Turret's gotta go. See, it's like trying to turn to shoot me. Okay, yeah. That might be the way to do it, but we're gonna take some damage on the way. <laughs> Damn it, man. Uh, well, I mean, we could eat these since we're like kind of... We take our time in between shots here. Oh, yeah, no, we want to do one because that shotgun takes too long to reload. But still, good excuse to use carrot stew. And... Ugh, there we go. This might work out still. It's a little bit sketchy, I gotta agree with that, but... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, Jesus, that's close. Alright, we're gonna use a first aid kit on that one. First aid kit restores us all the way. This turret's almost dead. If my game would stop lagging at the worst time. Seriously, I've never had my game lag before today. It sucks. Okay, did I get a hit in on him there? Nope. Oh, Jesus. And our weapon broke. Okay, well. Another opportunity to use the first aid kit. We'll get a gun, too, out of our inbox. I think we have, like, one more shotgun. We actually got two more. Perfect, dude. Shotguns are definitely the best guns for this. And then... Ugh, one more volley. And down with the turret! Down with its oppression! Thank you. Jesus, that was gonna be just so annoying to deal with. Like, we got transistor trip out of it. I'll take that. What kind of zombies are over there? Oh, no. Another turret down a long hallway. Uh... Well, to hell with it. Let's see what the hell's on the other side of door, whatever door this is. Does this melee weapon have enough? Eh, I hope so. Let's eat the rest of that carrot stew. And let's open this thing up. Oh, okay, they didn't notice me yet. There's a floater bloater, a couple of bigger guys. Maybe I'll get a melee weapon real quick. Yeah, this thing's definitely about to break. So I have an idea. We're gonna get, sure, we'll get the katana, right? Uh, but we're gonna try to melee someone. Eh, screw it, we'll just use the katana. I'll save that for some other types of- Hello, fast biter! Ugh. Yeah, no, they're just gonna try to gang up on me. As long as I'm attacking the fast biters first, I don't care. I just don't want them to, like, start ganging up on me, because that's when things get the most annoying. That's when they start dishing out way too much damage altogether. Alright, so you come to that in this hallway, good sir. And now it's time to deal with your floater bloater buddy. Hello! Hopefully I can take him out before he takes me out. See, the katana, it's got a higher attack speed, so it's pretty good for this type of stuff, too. And now... Back onwards. I do see a chest that we can loot. Ooh. Oh, this second floor. There's a lot to it. And there's a little secret compart- Ooh. There's actually a little bit of loot over here. What do you- What kind of locker is- This might be a weapons locker. I don't know, man. Could be. Could be. Hmm. I'll take the band-aids. Not what I wanted. But definitely not something that I'm gonna turn down. Uh, is there something on the other side of this? Just an empty room. Why is that sketchy? Can I poop on it, maybe? No? No poop? Okay, no poop. Well, that means the only way from here is this way, and there's a turret. Ah, I think I should be able to take that turret out with an M16, though. That's at a pretty good angle for us. And I think there was... No, nothing there. But I do know if we head this way, hopefully not summon all of these zombies and make them hate our guts. I might try to take these guys out with an M... I don't want to use an M16, though. But I do want to draw them out. So I don't, I don't want to run through this stuff. There we go. All right, Toxic Spitter. Let's start dealing with you. God, I hate you people. Ugh. Okay, we got some band-aids for this. Hallelujah, they're starting to really dish out some damage here. But we're dishing it out too. Dishing it right back to you. Eat that toxic spitter. Down with your oppression. And the frenzy giant, our best friend. Good thing we got his best friend. Shotgun rain. Oh, come on. Run away from that. Run away. Do not stay by him. Shotgun rain. Shotgun rain. Shotgun rain. Shotgun rain. Honestly, if you like turn, you can shoot that thing pretty quick. I didn't even realize that, but... On to the next area, and ooh la la. 
What is oh ow 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 poisonous gas ow don't walk through that definitely gotta gotta time myself forgot that that can happen that's not good what's that blue thing do you guys see that little blue thing okay I think there's gonna be a turret coming up here soon there's gonna be something here we might be able to get the jump on frenzy giant it's gonna be annoying to deal with but what I think we can do is try to hit him with this and then run like all hell perfect perfect now it's the shotgun deal with them from that honestly this is the way you can shoot so fast i think that resets the timer on if you turn away slightly you can shoot the shotgun like right away which is very handy now i might try to use the vss oh no i don't have the vss i'll just try to use this i should be able to take out that turret from afar there's also a frenzy giant there i wonder if i shoot the frenzy giant will he get shot at by the turret i might be able to use this to my advantage lads is this turret are you kidding me this turret's on the zombies team. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Come on. Devs, if you're watching this video, how about we program that turret to shoot the zombies? Because I don't think the turret should just be programmed to shoot me, right? Oh no, come on. I actually gotta hit this guy. And we gotta continue running away before he gets too close. I'm not trying to get one hit by this fella. Uh, 44. Yeah, I'll just finish him off with a shotgun. Okay. Back to the M16 situation. Or maybe even the AK. What we ought to be able to do is if we lurch forward, we should be able to engage the turret barely before it engages us. Yep, perfect. We'll run through the AK and use another gun. I do want to be careful though, because after the AK breaks, he starts running at the turret way too fast, which never ends well. Okay, the M16 is going to take a little bit more, unfortunately, but I think we should be able to finish off the turret. Hopefully there's not too many more, because turrets suck. But hey, we got a little bit of loot out of it, so maybe it doesn't suck that bad. And there are some more enemies this way that we probably... Eh, Toxic Abomination ain't that bad. And what a Toxic Spitter. Uh, why don't we just have the Sh Ooh, Katana on reserve? I think we'll be able to run and deal with these guys quick enough. Ugh, run like hell, run like hell! Alright, we're gonna try to take out that uh, Spitter first. Get on over here, buddy. Get on over here. I just want the abomination to get some good distance between us. Okay. Hiya! Okay, of course that broke. Of course it broke. Of course it broke. Ah! Don't kill me, it talks of abomination. I will kill you first. Down with your oppression. Perfect. We're done with another area. Let's not walk through that. That is doom. Hiya! Okay, we lived. Uh, probably want to put the band-aids back up in that slot. Eat the last of our carrot stew. In terms of medical supplies, I think we'll still be okay, but we are starting to run shorter and shorter on them. And that's never the best of things. Okay, what happens if I open this door? How much of doom? Oh, there's a frenzy giant in here. So, oh, there's a lot of things in there. Maybe that's not the way to go. Oh, mama, that might not be the way to go. And uh, requires a crowbar. Do I have a crowbar anywhere? Uh, I might try to invest in one of those really quickly. Are those, are those a thing? Crowbar? Hello? No, well, I guess doing the crowbar would make this way easier. Unfortunately, it does not look like that's going to be the case for us, so shotgun rain will have to be our way of making this easier. Because <laughs> there are a lot of big things in here that are going to hate our guts. I mean, I could probably try- I could get the jump on one of these guys. If I had a good melee weapon. Eh, I'll just equip the katana, put that in the second slot, and just be ready to run like all hell. Alright, Frenzy Giant, one hit on you, and then I'm dipping! Oh, that was not good, they did a lot of damage! We better be able to get far enough away to use a first aid kit. Although it looks like the Frenzy Giants are gonna be way farther behind, so that's good. Oh, I almost stepped into that, that would've been bad. No, just use it, that's all I wanted. Oh, I gotta run through it! Why do you not get damaged? That's not fair. Alright, time to take these two things out. We got the first aid kits in our second slot. I'm gonna put this on auto. Let him deal with it. As soon as I get close to death, it's first aid kit time. Perfect. This is working out well. Although we did have to clear out the room with a bajillion zombies in it, which is never the best thing to do. Alright. They're still coming, right? I don't want to have to kite through- uh... Yeah, they're coming. I just don't want to have to kite through that, because that's gonna be very painful. Is a shotgun gonna be enough to take out the both of them? I hope so. Oh! Hopefully I don't run into the gas. That's kind of bad. Okay. Ugh. Eat it! Eat it! That's the dude that we did a little bit of damage to before. And then this guy. Oh, turn. This might be just enough shotgun to finish him off. We got one more after this if need be, but that might not be the best. Seriously, shouts out to the devs for giving me some of this extra stuff to let me do this as a low level. Not gonna lie, a low level like me should probably not be doing this, but I really wanted to and the devs were cool about it, so they gave me a bunch of higher level stuff. 
And I am 100% about that because I am 100% about having some fun. Now, what is in this box? Box. Do not disappoint me. We have to be at least halfway through this level, right? Uh, well, that's a disappointing box. Thank you so much for your kindness. Now, there are some more bad things over here, aren't there? Uh, just spitters. Yeah, it's not even that bad. Let's take them out the katana. What up, spitters? Get on over here, buddies. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to open that other side door, though. Unless I have to. Come on over here. There we go. I'll be able to take them out quick enough. Down with him. Use up another band-aid. I'm just going to keep those in the... Uh, I'm, I'm keeping the first aid kits there. I feel like that might be better. If we open this... That's where the terminal is. Okay. So we do have to go this way. And that means dealing with a couple more of our friends. What up, friendos? Come and say hello, Toxic Spitter. You're first up on the list. I want to take them out one by one. And then the Abomination. What up, Abomination? I hope I don't run out of melee for you. This is your present. Merry Christmas, dude. Oh, yeah. He's liking his Christmas present. He enjoyed that. And I'm going to enjoy some fresh Band-Aids. And some rubber parts. Oh, thank God we're finding some rubber parts down here. At least I think I found them. Maybe not. Uh, what's going to be over here? A terminal. Well, would you look at that? There's a terminal halfway through that we need to repair. Hmm. Well, you know what? We might just go ahead and do this for the next episode, which is going to be coming out tomorrow because we've spent a pretty good amount of time already on this episode. So if you guys want to see the second half of this bunker, please make sure to tune in. If there's enough likes on the video, maybe I'll even do it later today. All right. But for now, it's going to wrap it up for me for this bunker. We will return because we got to go and get some stuff anyway. We just got to get some bolts and some tape, which uh, let me actually I'm going to write that down really quickly before I forget. So five wires. OK, now that it's written down. Down, we know when to return, but that's a little bit new that we actually have to go through a terminal to advance in the same floor before the terminal was used to like clear the floor. But now I'd say maybe we're about halfway through the bunker, so that's gonna be something to do. But other than that, this is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. I hope you guys have nothing but the most fan freaking day in the world, and I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.